I'm going to do a quick video on a topic I covered last year on gentrification here in downtown Fort Worth. I'm actually traveling to the same location I actually um, recorded the first video on last year. This is downtown Fort Worth. I mean, it's right in the heart of downtown Fort Worth. And a lot of times you hear the term gentrification. And you just hear the term, and you know, you can't put it into context. Because sometimes, you know, people learn by actually being visual. So once you see something, you can say, okay, I understand. Now I really understand what's going on. So what justification is in a, in a nutshell is people come in, money interests, pool the resources, to see a neighborhood that's distressed, and it's okay, well, this neighborhood has potential. So they, they pool the money together and come in and actually develop their neighborhood. You know, it's something that we can learn a lot about. I mean, just a common, per common person to actually learn a lot about this kind of concept, you know, pooling resources. And they have foresight. You see, a lot of the masses have just hindsight. But if you don't have foresight, you know, you're missing something. You know, there's only, I mean, hindsight and foresight go together. But they'll plan 5, 10, 15, 20 years in advance. You know, they, 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 they can wait and they have patience. So they wait till the property value goes on to where exactly where they want to go in and buy it up. And that's how they come in and take it back. All what you're seeing here used to be a lot of distressed homes in here. You know, some of the homes I'm going to, you're going to see in later on in the video. These are apartments you see off to your right-hand side. I mean, you can't even afford it. The average person can't afford to go to, to actually live there. A one-bedroom apartment starts at about $1,000. These condos just finished building last year. You know, they're, and they're pretty much priced around the same range, if not even more. So what they do is they price you out of the neighborhood. So people say that segregation is over, but it's not. You act, what you have now is economic segregation. And it's not just isolated to this one part in this video I'm showing you. It's, I mean, it's all over Fort Worth. It's all over Dallas. It's all over America. You have a lot of neighborhoods that distress and money interest come in there and actually rebuild the neighborhood. And the people who used to live there before, they can't afford to live there anymore, so they got to live somewhere else because it's just too expensive. So you can see the construction is still going on here. This bridge here was all dilapidated and actually came and actually rehab it, and, you know, they, they did a good job with it. But these are some of the actual distressed homes you're going to see here now. And you can see how gentrification is actually encroaching on their actually um, homes right now. You know, you're going to actually see a fence that wasn't there last year. That actually, to me, it looks like it divides the haves from the have-nots. Uh, they might have a next purpose for that fence, but it just... It just looks that way to me visually. And then before you can drive straight through this road, now they, they have a construction barricade that you can't drive through anymore. What well, you can see for yourself. I mean, so the gentrification is right on these people um, on the left right here, homes are right on their doorstep. I mean, and as you can see, people are still living there. It's right on their doorsteps. But you can see this neighborhood is pretty much distressed, and the money interest wants this whole neighborhood. And they're going to get it. Let's say because they're, patients, they're, they're patient, and they're actually diligent. And they all have a collective head. This is the fence I was talking about. The green one. Like I said, to me, it looks like a divide between the haves and the have-nots. I'm pretty sure I have some other function, but that's what it looks like. It goes all the way down. You can see, like I said, the money interest over there, and you can see regular old folk over here who's just pretty much trying to survive. You can tell, you can tell the neighborhood is still um, distressed. So, I mean, it won't be too long before this whole neighborhood is actually torn down and they probably put up some more apartments or condos or something else to make money from. You see, because the land is always valuable, you know. People actually make the neighborhood what they want to be. It is going to be a good neighborhood, a bad neighborhood, you know. It's just the people that live there. But this is a reality right here, what you're seeing in front of you. And like I say, it happens, it's happening all over America. It's not isolated to one spot. And if you don't pay attention to what's going on around you, you just never see, you, you'll be driving to your own neighborhood one day, oh, what happened to this house? You used to have this and this there, you know? Yeah, it's all gone. You'd be like, oh, when did they build this? Well, you wasn't paying attention.
that's when they build it. So you can see the construction signs here. Like I say, it, it won't be too long. I'm pretty sure if I come back in the same neighborhood within five years, it wouldn't look the same anymore. But this is prime real estate. It's an actual downtown Fort Worth. And you're going to see, when I end the video, you're going to see downtown. You're going to see the big um, skyscraper in the background. So, I mean, this is prime real estate. Of course, they're going to want this neighborhood back. The people that live there probably didn't see the potential. But the money interest saw the potential. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something about gentrification.